are you done with all your shopping? I am. I finished it on Monday. Oh, good. Okay. So, okay. I, I mean. Oh, yeah. You said you went to the mall or something, mall right? A mall on Monday. And, like, that was, was like, crazy? enough for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, God bless you if you're still doing your Christmas shopping today. Um, so many people wait until the last minute. We had a story this morning on Sunrise saying, was it 160 million people plan to shop on Saturday? Well, my college roommate, she yeah. and her dad make it a tradition every year that they go Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. Like, really? That's their thing. They go on Christmas Eve. So, that's a unique I mean, tradition. it's a fun tradition yeah. for them, and that's what they look forward to every year. That's what they know okay. for Christmas shopping. But yeah, for me, I, I like to do it when the crowds are. Me minimal too. and like I can browse yeah and if I need to take my time yeah I can you don't well, feel you rushed don't, yeah and if you don't find the gift you don't want to be like well I gotta buy them something today. Well, right, and then you buy them like toilet paper or something right. you're like everyone can use it right yes. that's so true yes yeah I'm finally finished except I had to I, I've done a lot of online shopping mm -hmm. and I do that more oh, and more yeah. the older so, I get so much easier yeah it's so much easier well, I, I ordered from this one company that I order from all the time. Um, and I don't want to name them because I love them and this has been yeah. just one thing. But I ordered um, a gift card off their website uh -huh. just as a last minute gift for somebody and it was supposed to be two day shipping. And it, so heads up if you haven't ordered anything online, oh. I was supposed to get it like last week. It's still not here. Oh, no. Blah, blah. So I actually had to go to the store uh -huh. and get it in store, which uh -huh. is not that big of a deal. So right. I got the gift. But that's the one trip up I've had. But that was the last gift I was waiting oh. on. And I finally was like, I'm just going to have to go yeah, to the right. store. Yeah, right. Well, you're getting close to Christmas and you yeah. just want to have everything like ready to go yeah. in your possession. Yeah. yeah. So happy shopping, everybody. Yeah. You'll get everybody done. You've still got plenty of time. And if you do go on Christmas Eve, good, good luck. luck. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> All right. Let's get to today's hot topics. Okay, this first story is an update to one that we talked about yesterday. Mm -hmm. Remember the UPS driver yeah, of course. that we showed yesterday, the guy from right here in Lexington. The video of him went viral. You remember this. We showed it to you. He was caught on camera doing a backflip off oh. a woman's porch. Look, he drops off the packages, Ooh. rings the doorbell. Boom, off, <laughs> off to his next delivery. We tracked him down. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it turns out he's 18-year-old Tony Bean of Lexington. He's a seasonal delivery man oh. for UPS. Huh. Yeah, so who knew? They hire extra yeah. people around this time of year. Well, a Lexington home, homeowner checked her surveillance video. She saw this, sent it directly to us. We've been sharing it. Well, finally, we were able to reach out to this guy. We caught up with him just earlier this morning, interviewed him, and asked him about why, dude? Do you do this in every house? He told us he just loves his job and likes to make life fun. Listen to this. Now I just like to make people happy. So when they look at their uh, their phones and they see that, they just like laugh or something like that. So I don't know. I just kind of like to have fun with the job and everything. Fun indeed. Oh. But get this. He also tells us that while his bosses at UPS love his enthusiasm, it's always safety first, so sadly, mm. no more backflips. Oh, no. I, I know. love his spirit and his enthusiasm, I do, too. I do, too. Yeah, definitely. Make people smile. And he definitely, yeah, he's gone viral, gotten a lot of people smiling. That's for sure. That's for sure, yeah. Yeah, and well, this is another story that may make you smile or kind of just cringe yeah, all like, the moms what? out there. So there is this new mom in Missouri that is going viral as well for taking her college final exams right in the middle of labor. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. I can't imagine. So 18-year-old Zania Thomas is a sophomore in college. She went into labor with her first child right as she was supposed to take one of her exams. Pure dedication there. <laughs> she wasn't going to let the little a little thing like having a baby get in the way of her education. Go girl. Uh, so her mom snapped this photo of her in her hospital room taking her psychology final exam on a laptop just hours before giving birth to a healthy baby boy. Oh my gosh. Labor pains to a whole new level. Yes. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I was reading up on this story and she said she was also like emailing her professor like, I I'm in labor. I can come in and take the test oh later. Or do and the, uh, she said uh, this news station that did the story interviewed the professor. The professor was like, have a baby. Yeah, right. That's yeah. fine. We'll work this out later. Yeah. This is like, you know. Oh you know. my goodness. Well, yeah, but that's so awesome. And how beautiful is she and her it, little baby? It, yes, they both are. Oh my gosh. Such a great story. Yeah. Okay. These are the photos that I'm just going to stare at <gasps> all day. Have have you seen oh the engagement gosh. photos of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Oh my gosh, Kensington Palace just released them this morning. All the guys in the studio right now are major eye rolling. rolling. <laughs> Whatever, these are breathtaking and you're peanut butter and jealous and you know it. The couple announced their engagement last <laughs> month. They'll be married on May 19th next year in a highly anticipated royal wedding. Look how flawless. Oh my gosh, they're just so gorgeous. Yeah. I just. What else can you say? Breathtaking, gorgeous, yeah, yeah. beautiful. And she's an American, so I mean, I just love this Anybody even more. can be a princess. Anybody can be a princess. It could be us.
but we'll have to find another prince. I know. Now, no, <laughs> who else? No. William and Harry are both yeah. taken now. And did you hear, Megan went to like her first official like Christmas lunch, I guess, mm -hmm. earlier this week with the Queen and oh, everybody yes. else. And there was this picture taken of she and Harry in the car on the way, and all you could see was the neckline of her dress. Oh, it was like a beautiful like lace. Yeah, very like, pretty yeah. lace. People like searched just that uh, the very little that they could see the dress is already sold out. People oh, somehow tracked it down, and it's a very expensive designer, um, a British designer, and yeah, so it's already sold out. So she's having the Kate Middleton effect. Well, that we saw I know. I was going to say I love Kate Middleton's fashion sense, oh my gosh. and now Meghan Markle. I mean, totally different style. Definitely different but style. But still very classic. Yes. Love it all. I just love these pictures. They're mm -hmm. so beautiful. Will and Kate's pictures were gorgeous mm -hmm. as well. Their engagement photos. So those were going to be tough to beat, but these are just beautiful. Right. So happy for them. Well, wonderful. So. Uh, we've kind of been talking a lot about uh, Portland. Well, now we're going to go to Portland, Maine. Yes. Uh, so this is a police officer in Portland, Maine, who uh, has gone viral for his rendition of Oh, Holy Night. He was on duty recently when he broke into song. People nearly start, just started stopping and listening to the officer belt out the classic holiday tune. Take a listen. I love wow. this so much. Oh my gosh, and look at them, snow on the ground and everything. Yep, How Christmassy. That is so funny. I love any viral video like this of a police officer, you know, that kind of does something that yeah. you're not expecting them to do. Well, did you see the um, grocery store worker, I believe, uh -uh. in New York? Uh -uh. Um, I think he, they had it on the Today Show this morning. Yeah. He uh, came from, oh, forgive me, I, some South American country, Brazil yeah. or something. Okay. Anyways, we came to America. He's working in a grocery store here for the holidays, and they were supposed to have entertainment yeah. come in, and he was just doing the sound check, and so he just started singing along. Yeah. I guess the band was a little bit late, and so he just took over. Oh, my god! And did a whole little Christmas set. And was it awesome? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. It's yeah. always those unplanned moments mm -hmm. that are always the best. And I love now, because of phones and things like that. that oh, have you can cameras, see them. You can see them. Everybody mm -hmm. can see them. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay, are you feeling a little bit grumpy due to all the stress of the holidays? That is okay, friends. Today is the day you can vent those frustrations. And today only. And today <laughs> only. And then after that, you got to get joyous again. <laughs> Did you know today is National Bah Humbug Day? There is a national day for everything. There is. I love this. This is the day you're allowed to be a little bit cranky during the typically joyous holiday season. As we all know, the Christmas season is wonderful, but with all the hustle and bustle, the Christmas shopping, the traveling, you know, all the parties mm -hmm. and things like that, it's fun, but it's a lot. So it can leave us feeling a little like Scrooge. So you have our official Live with Lee and Haley permission today to go ahead, have a pity party, scream, cry, whatever it is you got to do. Mm -hmm get that frustration out today. Do you ever, do you experience stress over the holidays? I mean, you know, you have, you know, you want to get all the best, right gifts for everybody. That's, Not necessarily that's the best I, why gift, I stress, but yeah. yeah. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to be traveling home over the next yeah. couple of days, and so with the weather, which of course I've been watching for over a week now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> answering questions for all my friends and family that are coming oh, and sure. you know, traveling every which way. So, um, so yeah, I mean, yeah. of course, you know. There is a, anything that's a big event, while mm -hmm. it is joyous, can also be really stressful. Any holiday, any big, yeah, kind of life event can be Yeah, that I mean, way. this is a special time of the year. I mean, I'm sure yeah. with a lot of folks, families, you know, Christmas is like, in my family, like our big holiday. Us too. And it's so there's the so many traditions that you don't, don't want to live, you know, forget about, yeah. not be able to do. And so yeah. trying to get it all in, especially maybe a short period of time um, mm -hmm. when everybody's going to be home. Of yeah. course, it's going to be a little bit stressful, but also, you know, very exciting, very joyous time. This is why I light about 10 holiday candles in my home just about every day. <laughs> Everything is fine. Yes. Do stress. Yes. So calm down, everybody, and just enjoy the holidays as best that you can. Mm -hmm. After today, you have permission to be a cranky pants, and then you have to be happy. Yes. All right, everybody, those are today's Hot Topics. Hot Topics.